Hi everyone. This is the first video of activity management project. Uh, you know, uh, last project, uh, book management project was a simple introduction uh, series, uh, but activity management will be a more advanced uh, series. In activity management, we will create uh, lots of tables, EDTs, enums, and we will write lots of codes, especially standard standard methods like insert, update, validation, lookups, etc. And uh, in this uh, project, we have uh, seven tables. This is our design. We have activity table, activity type table, activity expense trans, and duties, duty types. And we have uh, seven uh, EDTs, and we have three enums. Uh, first, in, in first videos, I will start to create a module and EDTs, enums, and tables, and I will create forms after that. And after uh, forms, we start to create uh, more uh, coding areas. We start to write uh, more code. All, all, of course, we will add these forms to menu and we will create security objects, etc. So uh, this project uh, will cover all most of topics of X++ and uh, with this project, uh, I will not uh, write like a training. I will write uh, like something a real uh, project. So sometimes there will be problems and I want to show how I can, how, how I will solve this problem or issues, etc. So I will not cut all the problematic areas or etc. Uh, I will show you, I will try to show you the real time development process. So let's start uh, with our development area. And this is my demo development area. You know, we are using it right now, Visual Studio. And I will start with creating new module uh, in Dynamic Six five menu let's create new module and this module is say the um, activity click next create new package yes I want to create new package also I want to add application suite uh, application foundation also currency and directory and dimension, maybe directory update. Mm. And next, uh, this will create a new project for me and make this default model for new project. Okay, okay I want to do that. I clicked finished. Okay, create new project for me. And uh, I will not use a source control for this. If if it it was a real project, I need to use of course source control. But I don't want to add this code to my uh, other other DevOps uh, project. So I will not add this at source control. Okay, as you see, my project uh, was created, and I have a I have a package right here, and my project is ready. Now we can start with development. Uh, first of all, I need to create these uh, data types and tables. So my first table was uh, my first table is activity type. I need to create an activity type table and activity type ID. Uh, in IDs, we can use rec ID or uh, we can create a string IDs. Uh, in this uh, in this uh, project, I will use both of them. Let's create a string for activity type. 
for example, let's create a rec ID reference for duty type and we will compare the differences between the two. So I need the activity type ID EDT uh, for my project. Let's create this one. I am clicking and add new item. Data types. I will create this is this uh, type in uh, string. So I select string and activity type ID and add. Let's look at properties. I need to set, uh, of course, label. Uh, in this example, I will not use. Uh, label file i will write directly but maybe later we will create a, a label file for our activity uh, management project and i will show you how how can you create a new label file okay i set labels and it's enough for me let's back to project and create a new item this time we will create a new table and what was our table's name? This is our table's name. Say the activity type. Okay, I create a new table. Uh, first of all, I need to add field. I, I drag and drop, and I don't like uh, say the FD to start FD. And I need another field, it was description. I can create a string field from here, or I can use data type description to be right. Description to drag and drop. Okay, I create my first table. Now I need to uh, I need to set up properties. First of all, I need to create a new index for activity type ID. ID okay. index uh, always ends with AX and I am drag and drop my fields to my uh, index. And let's look at our index. This uh, key must be allow duplicate, allow duplicate no. Alternative key, yes. Okay. okay. Now let's look at table properties. First of all, of course, I need a, a table activity type, table name. Also, I need title field and description. Cache lookup. In real time, this is uh, for me a font. Uh, I will use uh, I will use my key because we will create our key, and I replace uh, the storegit key rec ID key to my activity type ID key, and this is a main table for me. And Let's look at other properties. I don't need modify by or create by field or other fields here. That's that's okay for us. Let's let's. This, this is our table, and if I want to see my table, I need to uh, build and synchronize this. Let's build first. First build can take some time. Uh, be patient. Now let's uh, synchronize this. Okay, it's finished. Now we can look our uh, table. Let's open in table browser. Okay. Our uh, table browser uh, 
open. Yeah, let's create a new uh, record. Uh, what type of activities we have? For example, test, test, and let's uh, the command. Maybe print fails. Okay. You can see I can change activity type ID and it's not correct. Uh, this field must be mandatory and uh, allow edit must be false. Uh, but other than uh, this, uh, it's okay. It's now working. Let's close this one and let's look at our table properties. Uh, a load which should be false and a load from create is correct. Uh, mandatory is yes. Also, we need description. Let's uh, create a description, this one. Okay, now our first table and first uh, EDT almost ready. Uh, for uh, complete this uh, video, we need to create a reference from activity type ID. And you know, we use this uh, ADT, and uh, when I use ST activity type ID uh, to other tables, I need to uh, create an automatic reference. So I need to create a table reference over here. And this asks me. A related field, uh, but it asks me related field, but it's not showing because first we need to set our table, i our table ID. But I couldn't write from here because first I need to uh, set a property here. As you can see the tables are here, and. After I set this one, I can choose related field. It's not showing directly, but uh, I can write. Okay, this is important. When I use ST activity type ID, this reference is ST activity table activity type ID. Honestly. Perfect for us. Let's save this. Now, activity type ID, EDT, and activity type table now ready. Uh, this is enough for first video. I will I will continue to create other tables and relations, review sections, etc. And uh, I will con I will be uh, showing more uh, table uh, properties and more table uh, methods. Uh, uh, in uh, next videos. I hope uh, this series will be good uh, example, good training for uh, for uh, beginners and mid-level developers. Uh, I, I hope you will enjoy with this series. See you. Happy Daxis. Happy Daxis.